Welcome to Bible Talk Class. We are happy to have you once again to share another segment entitled How Many Times Should I Pray Over an Item? Before we start, we'd like to ask you to subscribe to this channel. It's free of charge. You don't pay any money. You only receive new episodes from us and you can decide to watch it or not. We would like to ask you kindly like this channel so that we know that you appreciate what you are doing and will be encouraged to do more and kindly share this video and other videos that we have made with the world with your church with your friends and your family be a member of Bible talk class and send us any questions that you may have and we'll address them and so let's begin when you read genesis chapter 32 verse 26 it says but jacob replied I will not let you go unless you bless me unless you bless me so how many times should i pray over an item and so this should be the basis of our discussion i will not let you go unless you bless me now moses said i lay prostrate before the lord those 40 days and 40 nights because the lord had said he would destroy you i prayed to the lord and said "O sovereign lord do not destroy your people your own inheritance that you redeemed by your great power and brought out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Jesus often withdrew into the wilderness regions and prayed. Often, that's a word. Jesus spent all night praying to God. That was his habit. Praying to God all night, according to the Gospel of Luke. Paul asked the Lord three times to remove the thorn in his flesh. And according to scripture, we know that Paul had some ailment and he prayed to God to remove the disease. And God decided to let it remain. Jesus repeated the same words three times at Gethsemane on the three different occasions. As we read Mark chapter 14, verse 39, we appreciate what Jesus actually repeated, repeated, and will say, let your will be done. Persistent prayer makes it apparent that our petition is important to us as it is to God. So when we persist in praying over an item, we are giving the information that this item is very important to us and God also will look at it as something that is very important uh, to him as well. No good thing does he withhold from those whose work is blameless. And so once we walk with him blamelessly and we petition him and we ask him anything persistently, the picture will be that indeed that item is very important uh, to us and it will be important also to God to consider. Paul urges the Thessalonians pray constantly the word is constantly and Paul also charges the Colossians to continue steadfastly in prayer being watchful in it with thanksgiving and so these are the words that we have that was the adverbs qualifying the action word pray constantly and continue steadfastly, you know, and that's the point we are, we are stressing. Now, the apostles have this example, but we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And so this is what we have here, that prayer is a devotion. So we pray consistently and you continue steadfastly and you repeat yourself until an answer is given. In short, we are saying that you pray until heaven hears your prayer and answers your prayer according to his will. We'll look at what it means to pray according to the will of God later on. But for now, our understanding on how many times one should pray over an item 
is that pray without ceasing. Pray until you hear heaven hears your voice. And that is what we have for you today. Thank you very much for staying with us and share this message with the world. Subscribe if you are here to be a member and like this page so we know that you like what you are doing. Have a nice day. Sleep not as do others